Hey guys, Maggie Flips here with Onyx Designs. Thanks for tuning into our channel. In this video, I'm going to take you step by step through the process of how we rebuilt and refinished a very old farmhouse table. If you like what you see, please hit the like button down below and also please consider subscribing so that you don't miss the future videos. So tonight, this table was dropped off to us to fix and refinish needs a lot of work. So first of all, this is painted yellow. It looks like it was painted multiple times or they tried to do an old faded look and whatever happened, happened. Um, these pieces of wood are actually loose. The whole top is not even really connected. It looks like they did some interesting paint job to it and uh, these legs need a lot of help. This is going to be a lot of stripping, a lot of sanding, and a lot of fixing. There is a drawer in the middle. Here you go, let me show you the drawer. You can see how much work it needs. Our customer got this from an estate sale and it's actually a very unique piece. Covered it in stripping gel and let it sit overnight. And we started scraping and this is where we got to today. We found multiple coats of paint under there. You got some blue, white, there was red, all under the yellow. And finally we're seeing some wood. At least the wood is in pretty decent shape underneath all that paint. So it looks like someone just painted it over and over again <laughs> and never sanded it down. is actually not attached and it needs some work and the splits the split actually needs to be glued see it's just not attached anymore so we're actually going to pull it off and if you see the spaces are not even for this to be a kitchen or dining room table, you can't really have gaps there. So we're going to have to take this off and basically rebuild the top and you know, see what we can do to fix it. After we took apart the top of the table, I took some of Dixie Belle's white lightning and I wiped down each piece individually to get rid of all the grease, grime, and dirt. This is what came off of those tabletops. Now I'm taking a clean rag and a bucket of clean water and wiping down all the pieces to get rid of any chemicals that are left over and any residue that might be left over. I brought the skirt and legs outside to sand them down. Now she is ready for primer on the legs and the skirt using Boss from Dixie Belle to prime this table. This will allow me to paint it white, seeing as it's black and there's some natural wood as well. Boss blocks, odors, stains, and stops bleed through. We don't have to worry about all of that with this table, but we're gonna use it. And I pour it into a plate so as not to dip my brush in and out of that container and contaminate it. Let's paint. bottom of the drawer. 
There's a lot of places that need extra support. This is not attached anymore. And this is broken. Let's see from this angle. So we're gonna put a piece here that comes up, makes it even, and attaches all this back together. See how this side is still attached. And then it'll have the support that it needs that's lacking right now. The drawer is fixed. Here it is. Fits perfect. We added two solid pieces of wood on one on each side. So now it allows it to glide smoother. And it also allowed for all these pieces to be supported. So now it's nice and solid. So first coat of primer is on. I'm about to do the second coat and the rest of the skirt and legs all have two coats. So tomorrow night I get to paint it. The primer has dried and now it's time to do a bit of scuff sanding before painting. So now I'm ready to paint. I did wipe all the dust off from sanding it. I'm gonna use Dixie Bell Chalk Mineral Paint Fluff for the legs and skirt of this table. I got my Dixie Bell Best Dang Brush, Natural Chalk Paint, and I also have a Zebra Round Brush for these parts. They're really small. It'll help me get into the small round designs aspects of it. Let's paint! the table you can see the mister bottle I use that to mist the paint and the table just a little bit before painting it makes the chalk paint go on a little smoother and now you can see the top all put back together this is the top that we had removed we broke it into all separate pieces we sanded down each piece after cleaning them we smoothed them all out because there were a lot of ditches in them now it's all nice and even, it's smooth, the gaps are smaller, so now they can actually use it as a dining room table. And once it was glued back together, we reattached it to the skirt and legs of the table. Hey guys. All right, so tonight I'm doing the fun part because it means we're almost done. Here's the table, built back together. The top has been fixed. We filled all the holes cracks. It's looking really good. So now it's time to stain it. So I'm going to use Dixie Bell's No Pain Gel Stain in Walnut. I got the Dixie Bell applicator pad and I prepped by putting tape around the top of the white part to protect it because I am going to stain under here and I don't want to get the stain on the white part. So now is the exciting part. <music> Here's the table, painted and stained. The only thing left to do is the sealant on the top coat, because it'll be a high traffic surface. Aside from that, everything is done. I'm loving the walnut gel stain.
And there it is. I'll let it dry overnight, and tomorrow I'll remove the tape, and then I'll apply the top coat, or two coats of the top coat, rather. Stay tuned. So here's the table. It's just about done. I just gotta do one more coat of clear coat on the white paint on the legs and the skirt. And I gotta do one more coat of gator hide on the top because this is gonna be a high traffic surface because it's going to be a dining room table. So there's already two coats on there. I'm gonna do the third coat right now. Once I was done with the gator hide and the clear coat, I took some gilding wax and I covered the handle. This is the last thing that I had to do. I did not remove this handle because those screws are definitely very outdated. So I decided to just be careful and paint around the handle and then do the gilding wax and just be careful to not get it on the paint. And now the moment we've all been waiting for, the final product. Here's the table, completed, dried, Everything is done. I love the contrast between the dark walnut stain and the fluff paint, and then the gold handle, of course. Here's the beautiful top with the three layers of the gator hide on it for good protection. And here you go, there she is. Here's some photos of the final product. If you liked this video, please remember to hit the like button down below and please consider subscribing so that you don't miss out on our future videos. Thank you so much for watching.